I'm sure by now the vast majority of my audience is quite well aware that the end of the world is now arriving and we have really only a matter of days, perhaps a week or so, before everything completely falls apart and the earth bursts into flames. Well, most of the earth will burst into flames. Not Florida, of course, because we are having a biblical Noah-like flood inundating everywhere. And, oh, by the way, we are broadcasting, of course, from our hidden hideout in the middle of the swamp. You can't really see me because I'm broadcasting from underneath the bed. You might be able to see, I don't know, there's kind of a glint, it's the microphone. I mean, you might be able to see part of it, but I'm not coming out from underneath the bed. It's just uh, no hope. It's the mine apocalypse and the Barack Obama presidency and World War Four, because three is over, four is beginning. I'm not sure which one it is now. We're all going to die. I mean, that's just basically the end of it, isn't it? Oh, of course, and socialism is still in Venezuela, so that's clearly, clearly evidence that uh, there's just no hope and we should just all give up. But, you know, maybe I will, maybe I will in a minute walk, take a walk outside and see what's going on here, even though currently at the moment in Palm Coast, Florida, there is no rain, wind, pardon me, no rain, and no storm of any kind. I'm going to not trust my eyes. I'm going to believe what the media tells us. It's battlefield of the mind, of course. And when you don't give over your mind to the media and everything that they're sharing with you, then you're going to be completely lost, aren't you? You're going to be completely out of touch. You're not going to be able to just look outside and go, hmm, the weather doesn't seem that bad. You're not going to be able to do that. Nope. It's not going to work. If you'd like to join us at the Florida Maki Patreon channel for, I guess, however long we have left, it's only one U.S. dollar. That's it. And, you know, if you're one of these people that think we have a year left, if you sign up for an entire year, it's fully, ref it's fully refundable and it costs you less than a dollar a month. I mean, we may not even have 90 days, but if we did have 90 days left, you could get a full refund of all three of your dollars. And, of course, we know... Because, you know, gold is the only real currency in the world. Dollars are useless and they're worthless. So, you know, what's the point? They're, they're worthless, right? It's fiat currency. So what do you have to lose by sharing a dollar? Now, I did. I worked up the courage and uh, I went and uh, just turned on the screen real quick and saw the uh, absolute destruction of the country starting in the south. Of course, as we know, you know, the results of Hurricane Debbie that was just a tropical storm that was raining just five seconds ago. I mean, it's going to be Florida before and then Florida after and then probably just in a matter of days. Matter of days. There's just not going to be anything from, you know, even D.C. is going to be underwater. There'll be no uh, actual land left in Florida. The little dot that's Miami is just representative. I mean, even though Havana and Cuba and all these other places, they'll be fine because they're up in the mountains, but it's just the end. It's just, you know, the end of everything. But yeah, I decided to walk downstairs, walk downstairs and and, and walk outside to, to show you what uh, real survival looks like. You see, of course, it makes a hell of a lot more sense, doesn't it? To run down to Home Depot and grab a bunch of lumber and screws and start tacking things into some random tree in the swamp and make it look really neat. And people go, wow, that's a great hideout. That's a fantastic hideout. I mean, during a storm, during a storm, you would never want to be so silly and so dumb as to reside in a steel-reinforced concrete block home with stucco over it that's of course, raised up from the water table 12 or 15 feet. No, no, that, that would be dumb. That would be uh, doing what the sheep do because that's where most people live in Florida, in neighborhoods, in steel reinforced concrete homes. That's just silly. I mean, clear, clearly, clearly, this is the actual right answer. Go grab a bunch of random lumber, you know, from, you know, maybe maybe some job sites have some left over that they've used for scraps. 
and you go down to the junkyard or you can go to uh maybe even the landfill and grab some things and grab a whole bunch of screws and your buddies and uh six or eight cases of beer and just start screwing them under the biggest tree you can and make yourself a walkway up this will be uh this will be the deliverance of the future florida maquis florida maquis you just wasted five and a half minutes of my time you're showing me these images and they're not real they're not real you're not really under that bed that is some ai generated image that's representative of some type of a of a hideout you know that this is real this is real we saw this on the news but this isn't real this is it's not real what, what are you doing? You're showing us images to make us believe something. You're showing us images to make us believe something that really isn't true. That is that possible? Is it possible to narrate images in a way that make you believe something that isn't true? Now do Venezuela. You know, that country of 30 million people where they show you a picture like this of maybe a hundred and a couple of random fires and then narrate over it. Socialism destroys everything. And then you automatically believe it. Six killed in Venezuela. Six? Six? Oh, well, you'd have to say, you know, six is almost 30 million. It is. It's, it's almost 30 million. That's how many people live in Venezuela, by the way. 30 million. More people are killed on a light weekend in Chicago over nothing. Drugs, women, territory. And I'm sure this image wasn't AI generated at all. I want you to take a very, very, very close look at this image here with the no dictadura sign. I mean, they're not even trying to make their AI-generated, make-believe protest pictures look believable anymore. They're not even trying. They're not even trying because they know how easy people are. This is a kind of a continuance of yesterday's video, but I think it's emblematic of 2008, 2016. Everybody believed in the Mayan apocalypse, didn't they? Everybody believed in the Mayan apocalypse. You know what else everybody believed? Everybody else believed that if Barack Obama got reelected in 2012, it's time to prepare for the end. The Mayans were right. The Mayans were right. It's going to be the end of our country. We won't have a country if Barack Obama gets reelected. Silliness. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? See, we look back now, 12 years hence, and we look back and go, wow, that was pretty cringe stupid, wasn't it? Battlefield of the mind. It makes you wonder. It truly does. It was supposed to be the end of the world back then. Remember Benghazi was going to be the end of the world? Everything that happened in Benghazi? And here we are 12 years later, and one of the people running for president is a savior. One of the people running for president is the savior of all mankind, and the other one, well, if they get elected, it's going to be the end. That's going to be it. It's going to be over. It's just, it's, it's just to watch it happen over and over and over again is just unbelievable to me that people either don't have the memories or it's a different group of people. You know, that they show these maps. Go, well, that looks like a real real map of Florida. And, well, look at this on the right. That's why, as a patriot, I could never, I could never live in Florida. I mean, clearly, that's, uh, everybody's going to drown. It's going to be biblical. It's going to be like Noah. As if anybody in the rest of the country would survive if this actually happened. This would be the end of a lot more than Florida if this happened. It would be the it would be the end of shipping around the world. 
and see how long any country lasts without international shipping or air travel. So, I will leave it there. You can show any image you want, and you can put any narration, and you can put any caption you want on it, and if you're gullible enough, you might believe it. But what did they tell you in 2013 was going to be the case? Nicolas Maduro only has six months left. Maybe three, maybe nine. He's going to be forced to step down. He's going to... It's, socialism is destroyed. Venezuela has failed. It's 2013. And Venezuela has failed. They are going to completely go under. They're going to go belly up. There's going to be nobody living in Venezuela in the next year or two. They're going to have to give up. They're going to have to dollarize. They're going to have to give up the boulevard and learn the lessons of socialism. And here we are in 2024, late 2024, 11 years later, they have converted away from the dollar. And while they're still not as wealthy as they used to be, back when they bent the knee to the dollar and to big oil and to Washington, D.C., they're just moving in a different direction. They've embraced cryptocurrency and they've made new allies. Congratulations. Some of you might be able to read the uh, shirt that this woman is. I'm not going to. Um, well, maybe I will. Sea el solidario que apunta las armas contra su pueblo. Simon, they're quoting Simon Bolivar, but trying to um, turn Simone Bolivar's words back against the Bolivarian regime by wearing the shirt. So, anyway, I'll let you guys look into this. But trust me when I tell you, folks, it ain't that bad. I am in Palm Coast, Florida. I went out, worked all day, 12 hours, and it rained a little. I didn't notice much wind. And it stopped raining, and it started raining again. And then it rained a little harder, and then it, the sun came out. It's just day in Florida. This is just silliness. But I'll leave it there. For those of you, for those of you who don't think it's the end of the world, those of you who don't believe that the world's going to end in the next 30 to 90 days, Love to have you at the Florida Monkey Patreon channel. Could sure use the help. It really would help to uh, keep the channel going, keep things going over there. And trust me, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos over there. You could watch videos, uh, theoretically, truthfully, now till just about Election Day. August, September, and October. Well, see, it's August. Yeah, so one day. You could watch videos basically for free. Because if at the end of 90 days, it's not for you, you can get your $3 refund. And you would have to watch a lot of videos every day to watch out all the videos that are over there. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.